from the soul with it. going on everybody the island ricks coming to you live with yet another video if you're new to the channel please be sure to click that subscribe button also don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be a part of the notification so i gotta talk to y'all about Nicki minaj work hard to get out of that you gonna work hard, dog, just to get. I mean, that was like a bright idea, bro. I get half back, bro. I'm cheap. I'm tight on the dollar, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I'm tight on the dollar, cause work hard just to get half back. I ain't trying to get half of nothing back, bro. I'm trying to keep the whole thing, bro. I'm cheap. I'm tight on the dollar, bro. If it's five dollars, bro. If it's five dollars, bro, I would rather pay four ninety nine. <laughs> Let me keep my one sec. Uh, I'm telling you, bro. Let's be serious about this track, bro. This track is a fire track, bro. Dope track. I was just listening to it a few minutes ago, bro. And Nicki Minaj did her thing on there. It was so many dope lines, man. And I just want to go over the track. I'm going to give it, like, I'm going to just go ahead and give my, my rating. Honestly, I will give this a 9 out of a 10, bro. Like, this track was, like, flawless to me. You know, flawless, the auto-tune correction, like the auto-tune, the pitch, the correction was great. Uh, just a dope track, the beat, you know, the beat, all you have to have nowadays is a great beat, a dope beat, and have a nice hook, like a nice chorus, something that's catchy, and that's it. But she had bars on this song. And, you know, Nicki Minaj did her thing. Like, right now, she's at the moment where she's in the Floyd Mayweather stage. To whereas whatever she does, it gets put under this microscope. And she just get, like, crucified to the people, to the public, and to the media. You know, because it's like she's at the stage where it's like they don't want for her to win. Nicki Minaj is going to have to use kind of, like, marketing. She's going to have to get into that Jay-Z stage. You know, um, and try to get to a level where she could uh, elevate in terms of like make uh, business moves. Like she's gonna have to make business moves. She's gonna have to turn her marketing, change her marketing strategy a little bit, and market that, use that as marketing because people associate success with money. Like that's just how it is. You know, Jay Z at the level of his success, they judge him on the money that he make. You know, it's just like with the clothing line or anything, like, people judge it off of the money you make, off the power moves that you make. They don't care about, like, it's just like you become, once you don't have, like, the machine behind you, people associate, like, it could be a person that's on a label, and they see a person get, like, a million or two million, three million dollars, or they see a person sign a, a record contract for six million dollars. It doesn't mean that that person has six million dollars. It's the contract that's worth six million dollars. You get what I'm saying? Like, if you understand business, then you'll understand that. There's a lot of uh, biased opinions when it comes to Nicki Minaj at this uh, point. Because, as I said, when you have a person, you have Nicki Minaj who's done so much over her career. And then they bring somebody new in, like Thotty B. I mean, I'm sorry, Cardi B. And when you bring someone in like that, um, you have a person who they just put on a label. You might see them get, you know, be in a position to where they got so many different, like, I don't respect Charlemagne's opinion because he already pretty much admitted that he's getting a bag from Atlantic Records. So how could you respect anyone's opinion who getting a bag from somebody? I mean, they just saying stuff is good just because they getting a bag. So I have no respect for his opinion. Our DJ Academics um, speaking on Charlemagne and, you know, just exposing Charlemagne, bro. I, that's why y'all know how I feel about Charlemagne. You getting the bag for that, it's no telling what else you getting the bag for. Nicki Minaj, every record that you hear Nicki Minaj on, if Cardi B was on that record, they would say it's fire because Cardi B got the flame right now. Everybody loves her. It's just people so emotional that they can't see it. And they shoving Cardi B down your throat. They shoving her, shoving her, shoving her down your throat. And they shoving her down your throat so much that you can't realize that Nicki Minaj is really making the better music. Like, she's made better quality music. Like, the Chung Lee song and the Chung, just off the two singles, Chung Lee and the, the Halfbacks two singles, they're fired. Now, if they put these songs on the radio hundreds of millions of times, 
people would love it. But it's not, it's not that way right now. It's Cardi B getting pushed on the record and being put in your face and being put in the media so much that Nicki Minaj, who isn't getting as much airplay as her as she was, as she once got, now that she's getting that, now, you know, people like People always talk about, she's so real, bro. She's so real. Oh, I like her because she's so real. Like, people don't know the difference between real and ratchet. Like, just because a person go out there, you know, I did that and that it and sticking their tongue out and just saying stuff don't mean that they real. Like, a, a real, genuine person talks about things that's going on in society. Like, the struggles, the pains that we as humans have to deal with every day, whether it's social issues, that's real. Like the stuff that Lauren Hill talked about, that's real. That's go look at the video that I have on YouTube, Lauren Hill versus, you know, Cardi B. What's real versus what America wants you to believe is real. You know, her music suck and all this other stuff, bro. Like it, it's really not fair. So I'm gonna go over some of the lines, bro. Like she she had some dope lyrics. And, like her wordplay was extremely sick. In this song, like the whole Michael Jackson play on words, bro. Nicki Minaj like killed it, bro. And for Charlemagne, it's just like it's it goes to he's exposing himself. This go to show you how phony people are. Go look at how Charlemagne treated Lil Kim when Nicki Minaj was getting all the attention. And I said this on my page one day. I said it just go to show you how the media and mainstream media have control over the public. When Nicki Minaj was in Thotty B, I'm sorry, in Cardi B's position, nobody, everybody was praising her and giving all this love, the same love they'd given Cardi B. So it goes to show you when they replace this person, it's just fake love because you don't really love that person. Oh, so much phoniness going on in the world. Go back and watch Charlemagne's interview when they interviewed uh, Lil' Kim and they said Lil' Kim was hating on Nicki Minaj and all this other stuff. Now, Times has changed. He was siding with Nicki Minaj at this time. I just think you hate him, Kim. Bah, bah, bah. Next thing you know, they move Nicki Minaj out of, out of there. And now they get Daddy B, I'm sorry, Cardi B, and put her in that position. Now Nicki Minaj is saying he done just jump the Cardi B just that fast. And it just goes to show you no loyalty. And with the type of person that he is, he'll probably take a bag. He'll do anything. He'll probably sell his soul or do whatever for the bag. 